Hello lovelies, welcome back. My name is Lily and today we are going to be doing a review of my mini 2021 Louis Vuitton handbag collection. So hopefully this is going to be interesting to you and I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. So starting out with my oldest Louis Vuitton handbag it is actually the Tivoli. Um, so this bag was actually gifted to me by my father. It was my first uh, Louis Vuitton handbag, so it's a very, very special to me. I actually received it, um, I believe, right before graduating college. So it was a very, very, very um, beautiful gift and definitely really blessed to have it. This bag was released in the early 2000s and was actually discontinued in 2014. So um, you can definitely find these on the pre-loved market. In fact, it is quite a lot um, more reasonable in pricing. I think when my father got it for me, it was... I don't know, I wanna say it was like maybe 1200 USD um, back in 2010, 2011. I just took a quick look today on Fashion File and you can find it anywhere from 695 to $1,000. Um, so, and of course the condition uh, varies, right? But I mean, I think that's still a pretty reasonable amount for how much bag you get and how much you can uh, put in here. So I've used this a lot. Um, as you can see, it does have an adjustable strap. I do currently have it set um, at the uh, longest strap because I like my bags a little longer on me. If you can tell right now, that's kind of like the perfect length and I am again 5'4", so it's very, very nice um, at this length. Now, I've had this since 2010, so it's 2021, so about 10 years. Isn't that amazing? I'm looking at this um, bag and I will say I did not know how to take care of my bags. As you can see, you know, it's definitely patinaed a lot. Um, I didn't take care of this. I never sprayed it with any Scotch Guard or anything. Um, but as you can see, the leather is still in pretty good condition for how much I've used it. I've, you know, used it for quite a few years um, for for work, uh, going out, and just kind of really did not baby this bag, but I think it's still in really, really good condition. I think the only thing that has, um, you know, uh, that that has some wear and tear, I would say, is probably uh, the hardware part. There, I did notice it rusted a little bit, and I had basically tried to clean it, um, but I don't think I'm doing it correctly. So if you have any suggestions for how to clean um, the Louis Vuitton hardware, please feel free to let me know. So if you can tell here, there's some um, uh, there's some tarnishing here, right? So I've only noticed it on this part of the zipper, really nowhere else. Um, and of course, there's this really pretty sort of logo here on the zip. Um, so the front and the back look about the same. Um, the only difference, of course, is that you have the logo here that says Louis Vuitton Paris. When you open this, it's a huge bag. It's a really, really big bag. So as you can see, there's this nice big pocket here. You could definitely fit your phone in here easily. Another one here and sort of like a smaller little pocket here that you could use and this huge, huge, huge interior. Um, so and of course, here it says again um the brand the made in um usa actually this this item was used made in usa when it was purchased and there's also a little um ring here so i guess if you do have something that you wanted to attach in here you didn't want it to fall out you could clip it on and it would be secure but basically it's a really nice bag um just to demonstrate to you how large it is i have my 13 13 inch um computer here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in. And you see how there's so much room. This is 13 inches, so much room left. And I can go ahead and also put in a regular iPad. Um, and as you can see, if I can struggle to get this up, it's actually kind of heavy now. Um, I put this in here and there's so much room. So honestly, I have actually really enjoyed using this as a work bag. Um, I know nowadays people always like using the um, Neverfull, which I think is very, very nice. I personally don't have one and I have been wanting one, but um, I actually purchased another tote um, and we will, I will definitely share that with you once it arrives. We'll but do. if you were interested, if you wanted a you know more affordable alternative, you could definitely get this from the pre-loved market. Use this as a work bag. It definitely fits a 13-inch laptop in here um, and with still so much more room. So really, really useful bag, really spacious. The only thing I will say is that you know, it does get a little heavier if you, tr if you do um, stuff it a lot. Um, I have noticed that 
you know, if I put laptops, chargers, lunchbox, <laughs> everything in here, it does get a little heavy, but I do think that this bag actually is very, very versatile, very, uh, very good for um, the money that you spend on it. So this is the Louis Vuitton GM Tivoli. And just real quick down here, it does have the little feet. Uh, so there's five, one in the middle, four on each side. And I have set this down on all sorts of places. And honestly, there is some very, very small, um, there is some wear to the feet. Some of the metal gold coloring has kind of just faded and there's a little bit of silver right in the middle. I'm not sure if you can see, but otherwise it's still in very, very nice condition. So because of you know, work from home situation. I haven't been using this bag for a little while, uh, but I'm never going to, um, you know, rehome this just because it has a lot of meaning to me. Uh, it was from my dad. It was my first Louis Vuitton um, and just really, really great. I love the little kind of creases design here. I know right now it's not stuffed, so it does look a little kind of, not that, not, not the prettiest, but you know, when you do put your items in here, it does kind of puff out a little bit. I haven't been storing these well, but ideally I think you do want to stuff it with something when you're storing it. So again, here we go. And the next item we're gonna go into is the Louis Vuitton um, wallet. This is more like um, a wallet on chain. Um, it's not really a long uh, chain, it's more like a shoulder um, strap chain, uh, but it is in this beautiful purple color um, and it is in patent leather. As you can see, the logo um, is here. I know it's a little reflective right now due to the lighting, but hopefully you can see it up close here. Um, but basically, looks the same on both sides. Um, so. My mom actually gifted this to me um, when we went to Paris back in 2014. She purchased it from a Louis Vuitton boutique um, over there. And uh, really, 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 I love it a lot. I will say though, I haven't really used it as much, um, but it is a beautiful piece. A lot of the items I receive um, that have a lot of meaning, like from my parents, from um, people, someone special, I don't want to use it too much because I don't want to like, you know, destroy it i want to tarnish it um but uh, i will say the exception was that tavoli which i did use the heck out of because it was my first louis vuitton um but yeah i'm a lot more careful these days uh, so, yeah, uh, basically this item i think she purchased it for about 800 dollars at that time which you know, it was, it's a really good deal. You probably, you can't get something like this nowadays, right? Um, with that amount of money. Uh, I've used this a couple times. I really like it. I've used it both as a wallet by itself and as a shoulder bag. Um, so if you open it, um, it's this really, really beautiful leather inside. It's completely leather lined inside. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it does have the um, stamping here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, right up here. Okay, and then when you, you have these card slots here, so one, two, three, four up front, and then when you open it, there's like two compartments, and then you have the zippered compartment for either your coins or uh, anything that you wanted to not fall out from the wallet. Um, there are six card slots in the back here, and there are also six card slots here. So really, really nice wallet. Um, I think it's beautiful. The only thing is that I haven't been using this because I, I've noticed that with this type of patent leather, it does get dirty easily. And then there are smudges on here. Um, but, you know, if you're careful with your items, unlike me, you probably will not have a problem with this. But again, it's very beautiful. You have the gold hardware here. Um, and so just real quickly to show you, this is kind of what it looks like on me. It's a very small little, you know, uh, shoulder bag you could use, but again, very versatile it's really pretty um and again if you didn't want to use it as a shoulder bag you could probably put it in in here and then you know use it as a clutch use it as a wallet or you could also detach it that was an option as well you could detach it and you know what i just realized i could use this as a crossbody bag <laughs> with a different type of strap i never thought about it um that's how little I've used this. You could put a different strap on here, use it as a crossbody. I think that'd be really cute too. And I actually forgot to mention, um, there's so much room in here. There's actually an additional space back here where you could probably slip, I don't know, love letters <laughs> or um, stamps, whatnot. Um, so 
really nice. I'm going to see if I can find this anywhere. And if I can online um, or something similar, I will link this in the description box below if you are interested. But beautiful, beautiful item. Um, again, this is something I'm never going to get rid of just because my mom gifted this to me. So it has a lot of sentimental value. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is the patent uh, wallet uh, with the chain um, or I could use it as a clutch. So really nice and versatile. This is the, everyone's probably very familiar with it, the monogram Louis Vuitton Speedy in the size 30. Uh, so this item I actually did purchase myself and it is pre-loved. I got this from Fashion File. I was um, looking into the real real also, uh, but what I liked a lot about Fashion File is that they let you return it. You know, you have that grace period to return it. You get the full refund. On the real real, I'm not sure, but a lot of the items I looked at, there was no return. So I wasn't very comfortable with that, not having um, been able to see uh, the item beforehand. And this, this Speedy is actually uh, from 1994. So definitely older, as you notice, it doesn't have the um, little uh, rings on the side where you can use the bandolier. Uh, so unfortunately, this is a top handle only. Um, this item I got off of Etsy. I just wanted something to decorate it. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, I will also insert the link down here for this uh, in the description box for you if you're interested in this. I'm um, just kind of put it around the hardware. And this item actually didn't come with the lock. So if you notice, the lock is a lot shinier. I wanted to get a lock that was you know, a little older looking to match with this bag, but couldn't find one. So I actually got this lock off eBay. Um, I got this lock for about $65. Um, and this lock is a uh, number is 300. So yeah, so I wanted the lock. I really like the look of the lock. Um, but anyways, as you can see, this from Fashion File was labeled as very good. When it came, I actually thought the item was in pretty decent um, condition. Obviously, the handles are patinaed, but you know, it's really really not that bad at all. And I think for the price point, this was a really good deal. Um, so this one was partic uh, specifically, where was it made in again? It was made in, made in France. Um, and so of course you can tell it's a little, definitely more fuzzy. It's, it's obviously been used a lot, um, but still in very, very good condition. I did notice though that there is some rusting around, um, you know, this hardware it's, uh, obviously not very gold but that's fine with me i mean this one if you zip it this is still really nice no issues with the zipper and i actually do have some i have an organizer in here right now that i purchased off amazon um but this really i like the organizer because it helps keep its shape um so what can fit in here let's just do a quick check here ipad regular ipad um here and then I think this is 10.6 inches with the case so obviously it's thicker uh, can fit in here very easily so there you go right and you obviously still have a lot of room left uh, and with the 1994 this item I think it's different inside too it has this little um, pocket here there's no zip it's just a little pocket so I have I, I think chapstick in here um but yeah you could put you know your little items in here uh, but otherwise it's just a big big hole a big abyss um, but that's fine for me. I, you know, some, some, um, folks like to use this without the organizer. I like it with the organizer, but just for demonstration purposes, I pull out the organizer to show you really how big it is. If you can even see it, but there, we got the iPad in there. Now we got the 13 inch laptop in here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in Oops, as well. So we're going to just show you here one handedly if I can do this. Uh, is this going to fit? Oh, it fits. Beautiful. So, you know, you can also use this as your work bag. See, it fits in there. Still room to go. Um, I'm not sure how I like this fit though, because it's, oh, okay. I see. It kind of just lays flat down. You know, it doesn't, because these two items, it's laying flat down on the bottom like that. Um, I guess if you have an organizer in here, it'll make it a lot better. But right now with nothing in here, it's just kind of falling down like that. But let me go ahead and remove this. So you can use this as a work bag, but the only thing is, of course, it doesn't have the bandolier. So you're going to have to use it as a top handle all the time, um, depending on your preference. Um, you know, I personally prefer a, um, a shoulder bag, but I think I wouldn't really over want to overstuff this item. Um, but I think it's just so classy. It's so pretty. 
I got this for uh, $550 off Fashion Fat, which I thought was a steal for this. I know it's, you know, it's still in really, really good condition. Probably can use this for quite a bit longer. And I got this in April of 2021. So really just three months ago, honestly. Um, so if you want to go on Fashion Fat, take a look, check it out. Um, what I tend to like to do is I just like the item if it's not on sale. Uh, after after an item goes on Fashion File, if it's within a certain period of time and it hasn't been purchased, it does uh, get discounted. So it does 5%, 10%, 15, 20. I think it does go up to 30% discount. The thing is though, um, you wanna make sure that when it's at the appropriate discount, you just click it and you just buy it. Otherwise, someone else may get it. Um, so I tend to just watch for like when it's at the appropriate discount and I'm willing to pay that price and I go and purchase it. So yeah the speedy in the 30. Moving on to actually the last Louis Vuitton handbag item. I just realized I really don't have a lot of Louis Vuittons. Last item on uh, here today is this handbag. This is the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, tote bucket bag in PM, the smallest size. Um, so this one actually, uh, I got off eBay and I got it for uh, 300, so I'm just looking this way because I didn't write, I wrote down my notes exactly how much I got it for so you have a reference. I got this one for $320 off um, a certified authentic Japanese reseller and of course, um, you know, you, you want to be careful when you're going on to, um, you know, uh, third party uh, sellers like on eBay, you want really want to make sure you check uh, to know that the products are authentic. Um, so when I'm on eBay, try to make sure that the seller is reputable, really good ratings, um, and Japanese uh, resellers tend to be very reliable just because um, it's illegal to sell any counterfeit items in Japan. So this I got from a Japanese reseller, um, and I'll also link uh, that person's information down there so uh, you can take a look if you're interested. But they have a lot of um, pre-loved bags. Some of them are not in great condition, some of them are. But I saw this little guy, picked it up for 320 bucks, and I just love this. This has actually been one of my most used bags this year, just because of how versatile it is. See how small it is, but you can also pack a punch in here. So this is, um, uh, leather lined inside and see how clean it is. I didn't even clean this. It came like in this really, really good condition. It has this, um, it has a zip pocket in here and this zip pocket is pretty, pretty deep actually. So let me, sorry, let me just try to get it open for you. See like that's really, really clean. I was really impressed with this item. Um, and then also there's another open pocket here and there is a uh, attachment. I believe originally this bag probably did come with a, another little pochette inside, but this one obviously didn't come with it. It just came like this. Um, and I believe this bag is also discontinued. So again, if you wanted to find something like this, you can look on Fashion File, I can look on eBay, but then again, of course, be careful, make sure you do your research, make sure the item is authentic um, before you purchase it um, and that the, of course, the seller is reliable. So I really like this. There's four different settings for the shoulder straps. I have it again on the longest just because I like my bags a little longer. If you take a look, it's, it's like the perfect size. See, it's so it's really nice, really, really uh, petite, and just so easy to carry around. Really not heavy. It's a funny story because when I purchased this one, I thought it was actually the larger size, and when it came, I was like, "Gosh, this is so small! I purchased the wrong one." But I actually love it even more because it is really just just great. Uh, and just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just show you. This is again the wallet. I'm just going to put this in here for you to see, you know really how that how that fits right and then just for my oh, sorry <laughs> my little um makeup uh, pouch i'm gonna put it in here as well to show you and see there's still so much room so honestly all the essentials will fit in here i'm able to fit a long wallet i can fit my phone i can fit my um uh hand sanitizer mask um battery charger a little extra pochette in there it's just really really nice so comes with uh feet on the bottom and the hard canvas here so yeah there you go
So I hope uh, you enjoyed this little quick mini um, Louis Vuitton handbag collection review. Um, again, I'll put the links of the relevant bags down there if I'm able to find it. Um, and I hope, you know, shed some insight for you and I uh, hope you had fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.